Hey, it's the 26th day of July and we're thankful to God who keeps us by the day and we're still sipping on our spiritual July juice. So Jesus is going to come again to establish his kingdom here on earth forever. He says, Behold, I am coming quickly and with me is my reward to give to everyone according to his work. When that will be? I don't know. No one knows the day nor the hour. But to those who are not ready, to those who are asleep, to those who are in the dark, his coming will be like a thief in the night who breaks into one's house unannounced. But to, to the children of light, to the children of day, those who are awake and sober, his coming will not be a surprise to them. And so in the scripture that inspires today's reflection, Peter confirms that the end time Time is near it can happen any moment and so he evokes the characteristics that Christ followers should embody especially in these last days his encouragement is one of um, purposefulness and preparedness he reminds us about being careful how we live, making the most of of our time right because um, there's going to be a lot of or there is a lot of distraction in these last days the bible says just as it was in the days of noah so shall it be in the last days how was it in the days of noah people shall be eating and drinking getting into marriage and then the end shall come the bible also says that in the last days iniquity that evil doing shall abound such that the love of many will grow cold. Peter is encouraging the Christians, despite these distractions and these difficult times, right, to love one another because love covers a multitude of sin. And then Peter exhorts the Christians to be watchful in prayer right we it is a time where Christians are to pray even more watchful looking at the times trying to understand the times look at the signs right we stay connected to God through prayer and then he exhorts the Christians to be hospitable to one another without grumbling he also encourages the Christians to serve with their gifts using their gift to serve one another for the benefit of one another as well as the benefit benefit of the church. In yesterday's reflection, I said we come under the abundant grace of God when we believe in the redemptive work of Christ where we receive salvation. So because of God's grace in salvation, we have received gifts for which we are expected to serve the body of Christ for the strengthening and the growth of the church. And we have therefore to be um, good stewards, Peter encourages, right, of this gift given to us of God for the ultimate purpose of glorifying God. He says if your gift involves speaking, speak what God has said, his word. Let's not make it about us by adding to the word of God or taking away from the word of God. He says if you're speaking to inspire, speaking to encourage or evangelize, whether you're teaching or you're preaching, speak what God has said. Let it be inspired by the word word of God. Then he also draws our attention to the fact that even the strength we need to perform our gifts come from God. So let's not be lazy. If we're wanting to serve, serve right because we're serving with the strength that comes from God and not ourselves. You know, the gift draws strength from God the Father. And so God sources both the gift and the strength with which to perform. The end goal is for God to be glorified. So if we're diligent and faithful in the execution of our gift as it should be, then God will be glorified. So Peter's message is a message for us to check our posture as we wait the second coming of Christ. Stay blessed and have a happy July.